Hello everybody, my name is Inez. Welcome to this video. My friends, my family, God bless you all. It's great that you're here. Thank you for all your love and all your prayers and I'm always praying for you too. I pray that you're pressing on as a mighty warrior that you are. So let's get to what's happening. It's Pentecost. What is Pentecost? Let's pray first. So Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you for this day. Lord, I thank you for everybody who is listening right now. May you speak to their heart. May you change their life. May you change their situations this day, God. Give them ears to hear, hearts to receive, and may their life be changed forever after this message for good. In Jesus' name. Amen. So Pentecost. Pentecost. We're here already. We're going to go to Acts chapter 2. And I think you know the scripture that I'm going to tell you. Is when Jesus was taken up. And he was there for a long time with the disciples after he had risen. He was there for like 40 days or more walking with them in Israel. Then he was taken up in front of them. But then they needed help. They needed power. So they all got together in one accord in unity. In Acts 2. And the day of Pentecost was fully come. They were all in one accord in one place. And suddenly there was a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the house where they were sitting. And they appeared, there appeared unto them cloving tongues like fire. And it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Hallelujah! Glory be to God. Have you been baptised in the Holy Ghost and fire? Have you given your life to the Lord Jesus? This is not a time to be messing around in the world. This is a time to be focused on the King of Kings and doing the work of the Lord. Wherever you may be, if it's in your family, your ministry, your community, wherever you are. This is a time to get your heart right and do the things in the kingdom of God and let your light shine. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible tells us to confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, that he is the son of God, that he died on the cross, rose again the third day and is seated at the right hand of the Father and is coming again. Hallelujah. Do you believe him? Salvation. It's a free gift. You don't have to earn it. Jesus Christ died for you and for me. It's a gift, eternal life, freedom, deliverance, healing, peace. And Holy Spirit then on this earth, when he fills you with his spirit, he helps you, he comforts you, he guides you, he leads you where you're to go. He corrects you, he stores you the right way. He comforts us. If you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, confess him as your Lord and Saviour. Repent of your sins, torn from the old ways and let him lead you and guide you this day in Jesus' name. It will be the best decision, the best choice you've ever made. If you've backslidden, if you've come away from the Lord, come back to him. Come back, let it go. You know, there's so many Christians out there who are angry, they're bitter, they've given up on the things of God, of God, they're gone out to the things of the world, they're gone back to their old ways. They've given up because someone hurt them or through the lockdown, they got fed up. Now is not the time for messing around. Things are going to happen in this world this year. You need to be ready. You need to be ready in Jesus name. So listen, this time of Pentecost, God is pouring out his goodness. You see, things are happening in the world. There's wars, there's rumours of wars, there's, there's terrible things taking place. But God is still on the throne and God doesn't change. God is the same yesterday, today and forever. And God is good. His mercy endures forever. And God blesses us. God chastens us. God corrects us. And this is a time he's pouring out his goodness. This is a time where he's turning things around, where the enemy has caused havoc in your life. Where there have been tears, where there has been depression, he is bringing joy. Where there has been loss, he is restoring in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 
It's all about belief. And that's what the prophetic is. You know, the prophetic, when you're saying this, what God is saying, God's voice, it might not seem like it's happening now, but it's happening, brothers and sisters. That's why it's faith. We need to believe. And when things take long, we need to be patient. I need to be patient. We need to wait on the Lord in Jesus' name. Because God is doing good things and he's pouring out his blessings. He's pouring out his goodness. He's pouring out his spirit. He's awakening those who are in darkness. He's touching their hearts. And in the meantime, we have to walk in love. We have to continue on in the Lord's work. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So it says in Joel 2, and let me go to 21. Fear not, O land, be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Don't be afraid, you beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring, for the tree bears her fruit, the fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Be glad then, you children, you children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he's given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause it to come down for you, the rain, the former rain, the latter rain in the first month. And the flour shall be full of wheat and the fat shall overflow with wine and oil. And I will restore to you the years the locust has eaten, the canker worm, the caterpillar, the palmer worm, my great army which I've sent among you. And you shall eat in plant plenty and be satisfied. You will praise the name of the Lord your God that has dwelt wondrously among you and my people will never be ashamed. You shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and nobody else. And my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterwards. I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh on your sons, on your daughters. They shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And upon the servants and upon the handmaids in those days, I will pour out my spirit. I will show wonders in the heavens and in the earth, blood, fire, pillars of smoke, the sun should be torn to darkness, the moon into blood before the great and terrible day of the Lord to come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth shall be delivered. For on Mount Zion in Jerusalem there shall be deliverance, as the Lord has said, the remnant whom the Lord shall call which is you and is me. Praise the Lord. The Lord is pouring out his spirit. He always has. But we can't resist the spirit at this time. We can't allow ourselves to be deceived at this time. We can't allow ourselves to be in the wrong place or open the door from the enemy through rebelliousness, through sin. The fear of the Lord must be in your heart at this time. There's so many lukewarm, cold today. They just laugh at sin. Sure, God loves me. I can do this. Is that sin? Or oh, really? I'll uh, lighten up an A's. This is the Bible. The king is coming back again. Did you hear what I said? Before the great and terrible day of the Lord. And people are like, Lord, rapture me. Lord, when are you coming back? Have you read what that day is like? When Jesus comes back. Are you ready for that? And those who don't obey the gospel of God, what is it going to be like for them? This is Bible. It's not me. It's not the law. It's Bible. Look at how Jesus spoke to the people. You know, he went to save the lost, the hurt, the broken ones, those who are in darkness, those who need him. If you don't need him, that's fine. You go and live your life. But there will come a day where you stand before him. And give account for your life. What way are you living at this time? Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Get your heart right brothers and sisters. Repent and turn away from the old ways. And keep moving forward. You know God is not a God of condemnation. Where he bashes you last week. What you did three days ago. Or what you said yesterday. No just turn away from things. And move forward. Because God is good. His mercy endures forever. And God showers us with blessings. Listen to this. Psalm 84, 11. For the Lord God, he's a son, he's a shield. The Lord bestows favour and honour. And no good thing does he would hold from those who walk uprightly. Sometimes Christians get this in their head. Ah, everything's fine. It doesn't matter if I don't change. It doesn't matter if I still do this. 
or sleep around or whatever it is. God still loves me. And then things happen and then they don't know why. They don't know why. You don't go and completely, as soon as you give your life to the Lord, just change. No, it's a process because he's changing us from the inside out. Our heart, our character, and then we go through things. We go through a thing called life. But you see, Holy Spirit is there to lead you, to guide you, to change you, to help you. The grace of God. You don't have to do anything. You'll just know. You'll just know. And then you'll hear this small, still voice say, no, go this way. Turn this way. Come to me, my son. Come to me, my daughter. Let me help you. If you're addicted right now, if you're in a bad situation right now, bring it before the Lord. It's not like he doesn't see. He knows. Surrender your life. Surrender your ways. Surrender your family to God. Give it to him. And say, Lord, I leave this with you. It's a mess. Help me. And watch him change things around. Because God is good and his mercy endures forever. He's going to do great things. And he's turning things that the enemy has done. He's turning. He's turning the tables. You know, Jesus flipped over tables. Nothing is impossible to those who believe. That is faith. And we've all said it at one point. What's faith? I don't believe it. Unbelief. What is this? It's believing. So when you're reading the word of God, when God says, don't be afraid, fear not for I am with you. You know, people can reject you. Your family can reject you. Friends can talk about you behind your back. Things can just go like this out of nowhere. And you could be standing there saying, wait, what happened? How did this take place? And the enemy could just come in like a flood. But just like I said in Joel, God says, I will restore to you the years the locust has eaten. But by faith, you've got to get up and you've got to keep moving. You've got to drop the old mindset. The strongholds, tear them down. The lies that Satan has tried to put in there. How do you do that? Speak. You have been given power. You have been given authority over all the enemy. The devil is disarmed. He only has what you allow. And then on the outside, whatever's happening there, don't let it affect you. Don't let it drag you down. Don't let anybody drag you down or steal your joy. You know, because people can be jealous of you. People don't want to see you successful. They don't want to see you going to the next level. Rejoice because you are a son and you are a daughter of the Most High. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. So just like King David... You know, it's like it seemed he was running all the time for 18 years and it took so long for him to become king. That prophetic word that was given to him and he was laughed at, he was mocked, he was chased, he was betrayed, he was hurt, he was in battles, he sinned, he messed up, he made mistakes. It's a part of life, but we should learn from them. But no matter what. God has taken you to where you're supposed to be. So just trust him and keep going forward. Because so many, you know, you're in the race, you know, and something can happen and you go, oh, well, and they come away from it. Or they've had a loss or something has happened. Somebody left them and they give up. People become, there's so many bitter Christians right now. Look, things are going to happen this year. You need to be ready. You need to be ready in your life, in your heart. You need to believe Because things are going to take place. You don't want to be deceived at this time. God says, be strong, be courageous. Fear not for I am with you. Don't be dismayed. And you know, the devil is a counterfeit. So when God says that he does signs, he does wonders, he does miracles, healings, these things. There's also the devil. And even in disguise, he brings lion wonders, deception. And I have another video there about that, about what's to come in disguise. So are you ready? And even many Christians don't believe that. And many do believe it. And I hope you're one who's ready. Ready in your life. Not religious. Not like a Pharisee. What's a religious Pharisee? Read what they're like. Critical. Fault finding. Nitpicking. Looking at everything. They can't hear a message. They're just looking at the earrings. They're just looking at the the wrong thing the person's saying. They're waiting to catch someone. There's spies out there. It doesn't matter the way people are. It doesn't matter. You stay focused and you keep going forward. Don't take your eyes off the Lord. Don't take your eyes off the race. Stay focused on what you're called to do and keep going. 
Psalm 34, 8. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Blessed is the man who takes refuge in him, who is in the presence of the Lord. How do you get in the presence of the Lord? The presence of the Lord is in you. Do you realize your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? He's inside of you. And, you know, the victim mentality, when people have this mindset, I can't, I'm afraid. What if I won't be able to? Maybe I'll just stay here. That's not for me. Oh, I won't be able to. And then you start talking like this. Christ in you, the hope of glory. Do you understand that's doubt then when you start talking like that? I can't. I won't be able to. That's not for me. You know, I won't be able to do this. If it's God's will. Christ in you. Nothing shall be, nothing shall be impossible to those who believe. God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all. Imagine that. You are seated with Christ in heavenly places. You are a co-heir with Christ. You rule, you reign with him. He has given his power to you. His spirit, Holy Spirit that he has poured out on Pentecost to this day is in you. Have you got him inside of you? Are you baptized with the Holy Spirit? Speaking in tongues. Some people don't, but I do. And how do you do that? You get in and you seek the face of God. You get on your knees and you hunger and you thirst for him. You cry out to him. You want him. You want his word. You want everything. You want to know it all. Be hungry and thirsty for, for God. God loves that and then he just pours it all out he reveals himself to you he reveals mysteries to you he loves you he's not looking at what all the other people are looking at and nitpicking and pointing and bringing up your past and everything else he's looking at you and what he's called you to do just like Gideon Gideon's me poor me what about me I'm so scared I'm afraid and he's like stand up mighty warrior just like you you know, you're like, I can't change this. What am I doing? This person left me. I'm left with all this. Get up, child of God, warrior. Keep going. Change things. Let's go. Because God is for you. God is with you. God never leaves you. He never forsakes you. People leave us. People hoard us. People reject us. People are embarrassed by us. But God is always for you. But our job is to love. And our job is to represent the King of Kings well. And our job is to go and tell people about our King Jesus Christ. That he loves them. And that he can heal them. That he cares for them. That he can restore everything the devil stole and and has hurt them. In a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, just a simple word to somebody can change their life. Just like this message, any message on this channel, because this channel is the Lord's. Somebody could hear something and it could change their life forever. It's like when I first got saved, even now when I hear something, it can change you. It can equip you. It can motivate you. It can move you. Because Jesus Christ came to give us life and life in abundance. And I used to fight with God saying, what is that? Because I'm not happy. I'm going through this. Don't you see this? But when you get to know him, when you walk with him, when he does the work on the inside When he molds and when he shapes, you realise, you wake up that life is a gift. And use it well. Time. Use it well. The people in your life, love them. You know, they haven't got it all together. They might be hating you and causing you problems and trouble. But understand your level is different. Understand who you are, that they're not there yet probably. So be merciful just as your God is merciful. Forgive just as your God has forgiven you. Love because God is love and he loves you. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. In chapter 60, Isaiah, arise, shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon thee, you and me. For behold, darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness. We see that, we understand that, the way things are gone. But the people... The Lord shall arise upon you, the glory of the Lord, and his glory shall be seen upon you. And people will look at you and say, how are you like this? Why are you so happy? How can you get through this so easily? 
Why are you singing and dancing? We're going through such a difficult time. That's the glory of the Lord. You know, just in the Old Testament, the Lord was there with Moses. The Lord was there by fire, a pillar of fire. He was there. He was with Moses all the time. He was go this way, go that way. Just like we have Holy Spirit, we don't have to say, God, where are you? He's in you. He's in me. And Moses said, show me your glory. We don't have to say that. He's with us. He's in us. We need to understand this because there's many who don't know who they are. And they're crying out, oh God, hear me. Oh God, we cry out to you. And standing there saying, he's like, I'm with you. I'm actually inside of you. Just speak the word. Your job is to declare and decree a thing. Praise the Lord. So when something's happening in your life, I take authority in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I rebuke this. I bind this. I loose this. I change this now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, I bless these in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, I shall not lack. Thank you, Jesus Christ. You provide all my needs according to your riches and glory. That is your power. That's the authority. We don't beg God. Oh, God, can't you see me? Oh, Lord, where are thee? He's with you. Understand who you are. Understand Christ in you, the hope of glory. The glory of the Lord shall be seen upon you. Praise the Lord. So just like God was with Moses, the pillar of fire. and He was right there with them. Psalm 138.5 And they will sing of the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Great is the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Isaiah 59, 19. So they will fear the name of the Lord. The fear of God. You must have the fear of God. It's the beginning of wisdom, by the way. You'll know what's right. You'll know what's wrong. You will want to please the Lord, your Father. So they will fear the name of the Lord. From the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. For he will come like a rushing stream with the wind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. God is pouring out his goodness. Philippians 2.10. Do you ever read the word and just go, Wee! you feel the fire of God just inside of you. You can't even read the scriptures. You just want to scream. Philippians 2.10, every knee should bow in heaven and earth and under the earth and every tongue shall acknowledge that Jesus Christ, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, is Lord to the glory of God, the Father. And he's your father and he loves you. He loves you so much and he's pouring out his goodness. Father, in Jesus name. Lord, we thank you for this word this day. We thank you for your glory. We thank you that you're with us. We thank you that you're pouring out your goodness, that you're showering your people with blessings, Lord. Father God, I rebuke the spirit of death, the spirit of heaviness, every spirit of suicide, of feeling of failure. I cancel it now in the name of Jesus Christ. And I speak to you right now, child of God, to rise up into your destiny. Rise up and keep going. Shake the dust off and move forward in Jesus Christ's name. Bless them, Lord, with showers of blessings. Show them your goodness even more, God. And I pray, Father God, for an unction in them, Lord, to hunger and thirst for you, for your presence, for your word in worship and in prayer. That they will not be prayerless at this time, but they will be the warriors you have called them to be. And that they will fight, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And that they'll run the race, Lord, in Jesus' name. And stay strong in the Lord because the Lord is your strength. Father God, I speak healing to those who are in pain right now. Joy, Lord, where there has been tears in Jesus' name. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Baptize them, Almighty God, with your Holy Spirit right now. Holy Spirit, touch them right now. Touch them right now, God, 
in Jesus' name. Just like on the day of Pentecost. Pour out your spirit on those who are listening right now. Change their situations, God. Change everything, Lord, that the devil has tried to do. We silence every arrow, every attack of the devil. We destroy it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. Be free. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. No more pain. No more tears. No more addictions. In Jesus' name. And everyone, Lord, who's trying to cause them pain, shame, bringing up their past, Lord, beating them with condemnation, Lord, I say that's enough in Jesus' name. No more in Jesus' name. Fight against those who fight against your people, Almighty God, in Jesus' name. And I declare and decree this, your goodness, your glory, Lord, and we thank you, God. For what you're doing at this time. In Jesus name. We love you Lord. Praise the Lord. Fire in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Know who you are. Know what's happening. Stay in the race. Tell someone about Jesus. Walk in love. Because God loves you. You're a mighty warrior. You're a mighty in the kingdom of God. You will succeed. Say that over yourself. I will win this race. I am strong. God is with me. God loves me. I am not a failure. I am winning in Jesus' name. I am healed. I am set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Just declare and decree and faith is what? Believing. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I pray that that has blessed you today. For those of you who don't know, there is links down below. I keep forgetting to mention that each time. There's links down below. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share the video. And God loves you. In Jesus' name.